Hi, I'm Robert DeMeff, a physician with Texas Orthopedic Associates, and I want to briefly introduce the topic of stem cells in regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine in sports medicine is the concept of trying to get the body part to repair itself, whether that's a cartilage problem, bone problem, tendon, ligament, arthritis, etc. The idea behind injecting cells are that by putting cells into the tissue that's injured, those cells will trigger a healing response, getting the body to repair itself. Now, in general, there's a few different types of so-called stem cells. The first are embryonic stem cells, which we cannot use clinically. Those are very much research-based, and obviously there's a lot of ethical issues about that. The second are adult-induced pluripotent cells, where we take an adult with a problem, manipulate their cells to try to make them more immature to heal a problem. Those are also not used clinically. The two types of cells that we have clinically available are allograft or autograft. Autograph means using your own tissues. So what we can do is we can take your tissue and process that and inject that in those cells, oftentimes growth factors, into the area to stimulate healing. You can get it from your bone marrow, where there's a lot of growth factors as well as the cells, or you can get it from your fat, which has a lot of uh, so-called stem cells. We inject those cells into the area, and it interacts with the extracellular matrix or the environment to create a healing response. The second type of grafts are allografts. Basically, we're talking about umbilical cord products. So these are tissues that are uh, collected at the time of delivery. The companies process that, purify it, freeze the tissue, whether that's the blood or the umbilical cord uh, matrix itself, and then we thaw those and inject those. Now, there's some controversy about whether those cells are viable or not or whether they really work. The bottom line is it does seem to be promising and it certainly may be a beneficial treatment for musculoskeletal problems. So that's a brief introduction to so-called stem cells. For more information, you can click on the link at the end of this video or call the office to schedule an appointment.